Hi, in this video I will attempt to uh, control the LED display on the uh, satellite from panel board. Uh, may try and uh, read the buttons, I'll probably re reconfigure the buttons so I could do them easily. Uh, maybe if I have enough time later I may take the, uh, the LED display out of this other panel and try and extend it so it will be 8 digits rather than the uh, the existing four. But, uh, but yeah, okay, let's get on with that. Okay, what I've done is I've repurposed an old development board that I, was, that I made a while back, probably about 10 years ago actually. This was originally um, designed to an experiment making a CAN to USB adapter, uh, which eventually, eventually turned into, into that. Except with this, I was using a PIC 18F2550 connected through serial to the PIC 18F2580 to uh, to do the USB to CAN bus conversion. But this time, I'm doing it with an FTDI chip, so it makes it more simple. But anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've put a an old 2580 in here. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm not going to be using the CAN bus. It's really got the chip in it and um, what I've done is I've hooked up a cable and uh, made it so it now plugs into the screen and uh, you can see how I've got it, I've got the 0 volts and 5 volts hooked up I'm skipping the infrared right now uh, not really uh, able to do anything with that maybe get the uh, logic analyzer on it, I don't <clears throat> but anyway, I'll worry about that later. Anyway, so I hooked up the button into B2, data to B5, shift clock to B4, and storage clock to B3. And, uh, and I've also threw uh, an LED on uh, A0, just so we can monitor it going, because I don't have a UART connected to this, uh, and I'm not going to bother with that. It's too simple. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I will do is um, I will set up a little program to flash the LED just to, uh, to confirm that this circuit is actually uh, powering up and working. Oh, this, by the way, this is running a uh, 20 megahertz. You can tell it's an old board for me because I, uh, I don't use the CAN oscillators anymore. I always use crystals now. But Okay, I will get that first bit of code done and uh, uploaded and we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've been um, having a quick look at some of the code and uh, what I've done is I've written some test code. Where is it? Bring it up. Alright. Basically, um, I defined all the wires to what pins I used. Uh, I'm starting off with the LED off, and then I've just told it to toggle the LED and then delay 500 milliseconds, so it should be on, off, on, off, pretty much. And uh, I'm just going to flash that, and let's go. Okay, so the board is working. That's, um, that's a good result. So the next thing I need to do is to... Um, basically create a routine to uh, shift the data in and then uh, see where it goes from there. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I've been doing uh, quite a bit of fiddling around. Um, uh, I originally realized, in fact, you got the wire in the <laughs> wrong way around on the, uh, on the connector. I just had to flip it round and it was fine for some reason that I got it documented wrong. Um, but yeah, after uh, I figured out that was the problem, it now works. Uh, I also had a, a little issue with the, um, so, you know, one of the this, uh, digits not showing up. Turns out it's uh, off by one error, so I had to basically tell it to negative one on there. On a routine, 
basically what this uh, data sending routine does is what I do is I send it the the digit select bitmap and then the segment select bitmap and uh, obviously the the top four bits of that is actually used right now which I'll use the bottom four when I add the uh, the extra display which I'm not going to do that today unfortunately well I might do it, it depends on if I have any time um, but yeah and then basically it puts them together into a 16-bit buffer and spits it out a bit at a time uh, it pulses the clock low each time and then at the end of the 16 bits it pulses the uh, the storage clock high which spits it out um, I also did a clear data routine, I don't know if that really does anything but I threw it in anyway okay, so basically here's the, um, the send data in use uh, that is selecting uh, the uh, the first digit, second digit, third digit, fourth digit, fourth digit. and um, then basically I made a table up here. I actually sat and hand decoded all the, uh, the segments. A little bit of paper girl. I sat and um, hand decoded hand decoded them. The the thing on the top left was uh, my first experiment, but it was wrong. But the uh, the top middle one is the correct. And then basically, I uh, I worked out the uh, the value, then converted it to hexadecimal, so I could stick it on the uh, on the table. Uh, I basically did uh, zero to f. I did a negative and a degree symbol. Uh, I might add more. And also I put in the comments the two alternative the two um, versions of C. There's the uppercase and the lowercase. And uh, there's the uh, negative and the degree symbol used. I just thought it would be a laugh. And you can see I'm still toggling the LED so it may be flickering on the screen, I can see it flickering through the camera, but I can't see it with my eye. Um, yeah, basically the clear data, I actually I'm just sending 32 zeros in just to push out everything. Uh, doesn't need to be 32. But, um, yeah. Um, but that's just a rudimentary um, routine for writing to it. Basically what I need to do next for this is basically make an, a buffer for a number or for what needs to be displayed and then use the interrupts every so often to just update the screen. Read the buffer and send it to the screen that way it's uh, it's all handled automatically and you don't have to sit and worry about the refreshing yourself. But, yeah. But yeah, all in all, this took me maybe an hour. I used the um, I used the uh, screenshots from the uh, logic analyzer to figure out the timings. Well, I didn't really care too much about the timings. I could tweak it, make it go faster. But I'm actually using uh, 20 microsecond uh, clock pulses rather than two. Um, I may eventually speed it up, but, uh, but yeah, I use this as a guide, basically to uh, send stuff to the screen. And um, and yeah, I've pretty much uh, mastered it. It's it's now under my control. And uh, yeah. Anyway, if I add the uh, the extra digit today, I will uh, I will film it. Uh, if not, I will do it another day. But hopefully, it'll be included in this video. Um, <coughs> all I'm doing basically is I'm just going to remove the uh, the LED display. 
fit it on a uh, on a bit of strip board or something, and then see if I can add it inside the case. Yeah, nice bit of strip board here. And, uh, yeah, see if there's room to add it like next to it here or something, or I may even just strip this board down and rebuild it all together with uh, both segments next to each other on, uh, on a bit of this type board and use that as a display that way I'll have the two displays next to each other and I just make my own button matrix rather than use the, the one that's already existing but anyway we'll we'll see what goes on with that okay I've um, added a bit more to the code I've added the interrupt um, well, timer interrupt settings, and uh, I made it do the screen refresh upon the interrupts. Uh, had a bit of problems with the uh, the interrupts taking a lot of time up. So what I did is I've set a counter in the interrupts. So every time it interrupts, it in it updates each digit. Uh, so there's actually five cycles. There's uh, digit one, digit two, digit three, digit four, then clear. Uh, to keep it all even and um, what you're seeing right now is, is it counting just let me turn the light off, there we go you can actually see it counting um, okay. see, now I've done it in the interrupts is it? Right. see here's what it's happening um, i got to work out the timing of the interrupts, I just fiddled around with the numbers so I'll have to figure it out later. Uh, basically what it's the main loop now what it does is toggles the LED, converts the counters uh, the counter number which is a 16 bit integer, uh, converts that to hex display and, and increments it and then waits 50 uh, milliseconds and um, is the basic hex to screen routine I did and um, basically here's the timer interrupt basically it goes through the digits one at a time and basically just says update the digit and then move to the next one and um, eventually I'll get this all packaged off and, and stuck into a uh, into a separate library file but yeah, I covered that LED because it's a bit annoying, the flashing. But the, uh, the timing, the counting and the uh, flashing of the LED is completely independent from the screen update, which is what I what I want, so that way I don't have to worry about handling the, uh, the timing of the screen. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I suppose next we'll be uh, moving on to adding the extra digits. What I'll probably do is I'll just wire them on separately and have them hanging off the board with a bit of wire and then uh, see how it goes from there and then maybe I'll, I'll move it to a, its own board on its own. Okay. okay time for the obligatory cup of boiling water thrown into the, into the air. Okay, so I've uh, added the extra four transistors and the uh, LED display, and I've wired it all up to the back. Um, basically, it's a, it's a common anode display, so basically the anodes are driven by the four extra ports from that chip that are not used, and uh, I've basically hooked all the cathodes directly to the uh, the LED display because the uh, resistors are already in place and. Uh, since that's the you know since one display you know one segment at a time is basically on on each um, resistor then that's fine okay so now I'm going to modify the code and, uh, and see if I can get it working okay that seems to be working nicely um, basically what I got to doing right now is um, originally it was doing one one digit at a time and clearing it. Now what it's doing is one digit at a time but all four digits one at a time and clearing it. But the thing is I'm just telling it to send the uh, 
the buffer for digit to one to digit five, two to six, three to seven, and four to eight. So basically, it's mirroring it. But they are working independently, technically. I just have to uh, redirect the buffer. But, uh, but yeah, it's looking good. I will uh, I will uh, change it and make them all do something different. Okay, so I modified the code now. So now it uh, basically basically got the second one more counting down, that one counting up. Uh, basically, what I've done is I've now implemented uh, an eight-digit buffer. Basically, well, it's actually a three-dimensional array, two by four. So, so you got the first display and then the second display. And the, uh, the screen encoder program now takes two parameters rather than the one. So for the shakiness. Um, basically now you select the display buffer that you're, you're encoding to. And then the hex. I still have to work on the, uh, the decimal encoding one. But yeah, that should be fun. Uh, but yeah, it appears to be, uh, to be working nicely. Um, the refresh rate seems to be fine. I was worried that it was going to be a bit of a problem. But yeah, all seems good. So next, I'll uh, I'll do a decimal encoding routine. Um, possibly floating point. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll start with uh, the integers first, and then uh, I'll come back to you. On a quick note in case anyone's asking, this is just an op-amp I had on the board from uh, from a previous experiment, I just haven't been bothered to remove it off the board, because I'll probably just lose it again. Okay. I think I'll, uh, I'll wrap this video up for, the, for now. Um, if I do make any more progress on the screen, I will, uh, I'll probably make some supplementary videos on that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, stay tuned for next time, I will be... Uh, I'll start the actual teardown of the board and uh, get rid of all the components. Well, maybe most of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a complete teardown because it'll take too long. But, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, if you like the video, please like it. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.